Just before we jump into this video, I want to tell you about a very special giveaway that I'm currently doing. Put simply, I'm giving $1,000 out of my own pocket to a random commenter on the video linked in the description below. So check out that video and let's show the world what good YouTube can really do. Hi again then guys and welcome to day two of the HSG experiment one of a number of videos that I'm putting out to prove just how broken the YouTube system is, rewarding clickbait with far more exposure, even if it's not the games that I necessarily do all the time on the channel. Now, I'm not exactly sure what thumbnail and title I'm going to use for today, but for those of you who have joined and you're completely new to the channel, if you feel like disliking the video, you know, I won't hold that against you, I totally understand. This is much more important than that, because I'm proving a point here with these videos. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look recently on the channel, uh, look for a video named Jaguar CX-75. That tells you everything you need to know because that was episode one. Now, something I need to clear up, and this is my fault, I shouldn't have released the video at this time because it, it creates confusion. My $1,000 giveaway is not one of these videos. That is not part of the 10-day experiment. That is legit. I mean that video. And I've been having a hard time getting to getting people to actually believe that, which I knew it would be a problem, but I didn't realize how much of a pain in the ass really it would be to give people free money. I mean, who'd have thought? You'd think that money would motivate everyone, but apparently people are just so cynical on YouTube now that they don't think I'm going to do it. I know that most of you know, because I've done giveaways before, I mean, a number of the comments on that video are people vouching for me that I have given things away and that I do plan to do it, but I understand if someone's new to the channel and they don't believe me, but still, it's a shame, because if people remain cynical about that video, no one is going to win. It's as simple as that, because people have been saying like, oh, how are you going to give $1,000 away to all these different people if the video gets like 30 million views? How are you going to give 30 grand away? Well... I'm not, in effect, giving 30 grand away. The video is, because the video making those views is what is it going to allow me those extra funds to give that cash to people. As I said in that video, of course I'm going to benefit from it as well. I get those views, I get more people on the channel, and hopefully a little bit of extra residual money in excess of that grand that I give away each time. But even if that didn't happen, I said, and I mean it, I will give that grand away out of my own pocket if I have to. Now, obviously, I hope that doesn't happen, but I promised, and my promise is my word. Now, as I said, I released the video at a bad time. I released it right in the middle of this experiment, which makes people immediately think that it's clickbait. It is not clickbait. I mean that video. But that's my own fault for releasing it during this time. Now, on to day two. What did we actually learn from day one with that Jaguar CX-75? Well, many of you actually put comments in that video saying, you know what, I can actually see what you're talking about. That video has like twice the views of the next closest video of the previous two weeks. I mean, I was surprised actually how well the Dirt Rally review has done. I didn't think people would care as much these days, but apparently they still do, and that's cool. I've actually had a number of requests as well about uh, doing car reviews for Dirt Rally as well, you know, my individual breakdowns like I do for Gran Turismo and Forza. And I am going to do that because I've had a number of requests, a number of messages, and yeah, why not add another game to the roster? So yes, I will be covering that. Not sure exactly when, probably when this 10-day thing has ended, but uh, I need to stop hitting the mic. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, the, the point is that that first video in the experiment certainly set the precedent for the rest of this series because this is video number two out of ten, and... Video 1 did amazingly well. Now, of course, it doesn't have a million views, <laughs> but it does have like five and a half, I think, something like five and a half, six thousand views, and that is much higher than the vast majority of other videos that I've put out on a daily basis over the previous month, even. I think the closest that the other ones have come to that is maybe two or three thousand. Now, of course, I have loads of videos that have way more views than that. But because of the fact that YouTube is currently not really monetizing things in the way that they were, because the AdSense is not there, because the advertisers are not putting ads on the videos, which to me is the most stupid decision I've ever heard. I mean, in the history of YouTube, I mean, advertisers get this through your thick skull. Through the history of YouTube, 15 years now, no time in history have more people been at home watching YouTube. So why in the hell are you taking ads away? 
it really isn't difficult logic here. But that's beside the point. The point is, trash sells on YouTube. Now, some people were concerned that I'm going to just continue doing clickbait on the channel and, you know, do this kind of video where the thumbnail says one thing and then it's nothing to do with that. You don't need to worry. And I know that most of you know that anyway. You're not concerned. You know what kind of content I put out. If it says it in the thumbnail, that's what's in the video. And that's what we're going to go back to. This 10 days almost has like two roles now. The one is to prove my point. The second thing I realized actually after doing that first video, and I'll probably feel it again after doing this one, and that is a form of catharsis. Because I've been putting out daily content with very little exception for seven years. And even though some of that has great success and some of it not so much, one of the most common comments that I get is, you deserve more subscribers, you deserve more views, I wish this channel was bigger. You and me both, mate. So do I, because the amount of time and effort that I put into this channel is not rewarded. You compare this to so many bigger channels, and I'm not just talking about gaming channels, I mean just channels in general, people put out total trash and get tons of views from it for whatever reason. Sometimes because it goes viral, but sometimes it is almost like YouTube is pushing it. And YouTube will overtly or you know around the bush claim that they don't push certain content. Rubbish. They clearly do. They clearly do. There is no reason that PewDiePie was not in the top results of trending when Logan Paul in the forest was. That's BS. So YouTube is a favoritist system. And this series is not necessarily going to prove that about the channel. I mean, I wish. <laughs> but it is going to prove that, unfortunately, trash sells more. And the reason why I say it's cathartic for me is because pretty much I'm, I'm just going to have like a break, really. Doing these silly little videos is almost like a time for you and me to connect because we can just talk about this. I never talk about stuff like this usually in videos. I mean, the closest that we get to it is probably the Beards and Cars podcast where we talk about sometimes like random topics. But nobody even watches those episodes. And that kind of ties into my point. Unless you dress it up like a Christmas turkey, nobody clicks on it. So if you have an honest, open conversation, unless it says something in the thumbnail like, it's time to be honest, or I'm coming out, or you'll never believe what I bought, or I crashed my car, or I killed my ex, nobody clicks on it. So you have to dress everything up for people to even click on it in the first place. It's so dumb. It's pathetic. And the reason why it works is because of what I just said about the Logan Paul and PewDiePie thing. YouTube rewards it. If you get rewarded, if these stupid people who produce worthless content get rewarded with millions of dollars in ad revenue, well, you train a puppy with a treat to do something, he's going to keep on doing it to get that treat again. So of course they're going to keep on doing it. They have no reason not to. And the problem is, the algorithm has no morals. So the algorithm starts to see, oh, this is doing well, promote this more, this isn't. Quality content, irrelevant, don't push it. You can't combat that. It's the reason why the human-curated homepage of YouTube was a far superior system. Now I get that the platform is a lot bigger than it used to be, but don't tell me that Google doesn't have the funds to employ people to do that. One of the things that annoys me the most, I believe it is actually the dumbest thing that YouTube has ever done, by far, including the adpocalypse, this is far dumber than that, and I'm not alone in this, some really big channels agree with me, the bell, the notification bell, why does that even exist? I mean, who subscribes to a channel and says, you know what, I don't want to see all their content. Why in the hell would somebody subscribe to a channel if they don't want to see the content? Well, maybe the occasional content, maybe just his most popular videos. Uh, maybe I don't want to see everything this channel puts out. Well, then why would you subscribe in the first place? There are two options that matter on YouTube. You subscribe to a channel because you're a fan of what they do, or you click on a channel occasionally and don't subscribe just because you like a certain thing that they do. That's what I do. And newsflash YouTube, it ain't difficult to find the channel twice if you want to watch a specific thing. I do it all the time for rap battles, trailer reactions, stuff that I like to watch, but I'm not interested in subscribing to that channel for. Those are the only two options you need. Don't subscribe or do. 
nobody cares and nobody needs your notification bell. We never have. We never will. It's a broken, dumbass system. It is the worst idea you have ever had and probably ever will have. Now, that system is never going to go away because YouTube is far too arrogant to go back on something like that. They will never listen to the fans, never listen to the creators because they think it's a good idea. So to hell with what anyone else thinks. It's pathetic. They say it's for the creators. Bull. It's never been for the creators. It's for the ads. It's for the businesses. And the adpocalypse prove that. YouTube is far more terrified of losing ads than they are of losing creators. Which is the dumbest logic I've ever heard, because without being loyal to those creators, you will have no videos to put your precious ads on. But once again, what do I know? I'm not working for Google. They must know more than I do. Sure they do. You can see that from how well the platform's doing. More people at home than ever before in recorded history of the internet, and yet still monetization and views ain't that great. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing great, YouTube. You really are. Try listening to your creators for a change. So yeah, day two of the experiment's going well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, video number one proved my point. I said in that video in the first 24 hours, I guarantee it would have more views. It did. And it does, and it will continue to do so. It's got something like 700 likes, something stupid like that. I didn't even ask people to like the video, and it still has 700 likes. Five and a half thousand views, something like that. I don't know how many comments, two, three hundred, maybe. The giveaway has like 500. That's barely more. And that's giving away free money, and it barely has more. So, in closing, to sum up today's episode two of the experiment... The views on today's video will still be more than usual, I guarantee that, because that's just the way it is. I'm not sure what thumbnail I'm going to use, though, so have fun looking at that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I want to thank you for your continued support. If you are a returning subscriber, maybe if you already watched episode one of the experiment and you're with me along for the ride, and I really do want to say that for those of you who have been having your doubts about the giveaway... I mean, what can I say? Please don't. Don't have your doubts. I mean it. I am giving that money away. Except, I won't be giving any money away if the video fails. So it really is down to you. So, come back tomorrow for day three of the experiment if you feel like it. As I said, if you want to dislike this video, I won't hold it against you. It, it doesn't even do anything, so who cares about dislikes at this point. If you want to like the video, I appreciate that. Thanks for the view. Give me a comment down below. Give me your thoughts. And until next time, I'll see you then. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.